everyone, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're new here and if you're a regular viewer I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So it's Sunday and this is my Stitch Festival haul vlog. So for those of you that have been hiding under a rock you might not know that yesterday I went to the Stitch Festival in London. Oh my god. So I'd never been to the Stitch Festival before so I didn't know what to expect. But I'd been seeing all of the snippets that were on Instagram that people had been posting on their stories over the last couple of days, so I was really, really excited. <clears throat> so before I go on to about what I purchased, I just wanted to talk to you about the event itself, who I met up with, etc. So I made the conscious decision because I was away from home and my battery power <laughs> is not the greatest on my phone not to do any videoing because for two reasons one it does take away from you enjoying the experience um and also it drains the battery massively um and i was catching the train home and my train ticket was electronic on my phone and i didn't want to be caught out with no battery so that was one of those those were the two main reasons but i did take lots of photographs which are on my instagram and i will insert at the appropriate points when I'm talking about those parts of the day. So I shared on my Friday sews, which hopefully I've now posted, um, that I was meeting up with um, quite a few sewing bloggers or sewing friends. So I'm going. I was going with Claire from Stitch Hem Sew, who is um, one of my good sewing friends. She is somebody that's doing the Selfless Sew April Challenge with um, for April, which is. Um, which I'm doing with Crystal from my social thread and Claire is joining us so we chat quite a lot and also I was meeting up with Katie from Whatever Katie Sews who I met up with last week when we went to the Creative Craft Show Michelle the Sewing Bunny who I've met before at the Dressmakers Ball and then also um, I met one of Katie's friends who is Stacy, and she has an Instagram um, not YouTube but Instagram of um, Notions of a Dressmaker which you may or may not follow, but if you don't, give her a follow. And um, so, yeah, they were meeting up with them. And then also, on top of that, I knew that Angela was going from Devon Thread Tales. I knew that Adele from Button and Pip was going. Um, Cara from So So Mad. Judy from The Running So and So. Anna from You Got Me in Stitches. Um, have I forgotten anybody? I don't think so. <laughs> um... So yeah, there was loads of people going and I knew that I was going to meet up at some point with them. And the really thing, the really nice thing about the Business Design Centre is it's actually not that big. Whereas uh, Ali Pali is massive and I know there was people there and I didn't, didn't bump into them. So that's who we were meeting with. So when I caught the train to London on Saturday morning, I met Michelle at Angel Tube Station and we walked up to the Design Centre and Stacey was already there, Claire was already there. And then Katie joined us as well. So we were in the queue, very excited to get inside. Um, and it was just brilliant. One of the good things that I did do was take a picture of my dress, which I forgot to do last week. And it was the tiger dress. So I'll put a picture up. Uh, I loved it. It was such a nice dress. Now, I was sewing the buttons on at like 11 o'clock at night on the Friday. And I did have a bit of a disaster with one of the buttons kept coming coming undone um because there were shank buttons which are quite i find quite hard to sew on but i did have my emergency needle and thread in my bag which i was ferociously sewing i think i sewed it on twice once in the catwalk and then once in the pub after i've got a photograph because everyone found it very amusing that i was taking photo i was sewing up my button um so yeah that was my dress and i loved it i felt amazing in it i don't usually wear pink it's not something that um it's quite loud for me i know you'll say you do wear quite loud prints but um yeah pink is is not one of my colors um but i really loved it as an accent and i actually purchased some pink lipstick and i'm not a lipstick person and it just really made me feel great in that outfit i felt amazing in it i got lots of compliments so thank you anybody who complimented me on it and yeah i really loved that fiber mood irene dress and as i've shared i want to make that again in a pleather with some pops pop studs popper studs round down the front so that's something i'm really keen to do but i wanted to twirl it first 
so that was my dress um and then we just um went up and down the aisles and had a look and there was just so many different people there there was Tilly and the Buttons with her new pattern. Now, I didn't buy the pattern. Um, uh, the jewelry's out on it for me. I think it's a lovely, stunning dress, but for me, I'm not sure it's going to suit my body or I'm going to like it. But I think it's coming in the So Hayley Jane luxury box. So I will be getting the pattern and I will be making it. And um, the, Liber the, the Sew box was there, which does all the Liberty fabrics. And I knew I wanted to go there and get some um, cord from there. So... Um, and then let's have a little think who else was there. Rosenberg and Son, who I actually didn't buy anything from for once. Um, but I did go there quite a few times just to look at the pretty fabric. Uh, and then there was all of the, there was Jenny from, you got, um, from Jenny Stitches. There was, um, the lovely Nicola from Little Miss So and So. So that was really nice to see. Um, we had a hug and it was just, we chatted and it was great because obviously I'm a brand ambassador for them and, and it was nice to actually meet her in person. Um, um, Dovetailed London was there who are a sponsor for us. Um, Aduka from Aduka, I think it is, from um, Dovetailed London, she was there. And I'll talk about that company later, but they're, they're um, a sponsor for us. Seasons of East were there, who were also a sponsor for us. Rainbow Fabrics was there. They're a sponsor for us for our challenge. Um, Ethel and Joan were there. Rosie Cheeks was there. Um, Sophie's Crafts was there, which is the cross-stitch um, cross company. So loads of lovely cross-stitch and needle craft stuff there. Um, who else did we have that was there? Oh, it was just loads and loads. Oh, Lady McElroy, just loads of this for different people. And some new fabric stores that I, um, like market store people, um, and I purchased an item from there. So, yeah, it was just really, really good. And I really like how it was laid out. There was, like, three floors, basically. The lower lower ground, or the ground floor, which is, like, hot, just as you come in. Then there's the upper, like level and then there's like a kind of mezzanine level that goes round the side um and yeah it was just a really really great day we chatted we <coughs> actually i think probably spent more time chatting than we did shopping it was just so nice um we bumped into everybody as we were going round i've got pictures everywhere so i met cara who is lovely she's a brand ambassador for little miss so and so as well um, I met Denise, who is Trolley Dolly, um, lovely on Instagram. And then I also, which was such a lovely moment, Amelia from So Amelia was there. And I didn't realise she was going. And uh, she just come up and tapped me on the shoulder. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was like a fangirl. And I asked for a photograph. And she looked amazing. I think she made a dress out. I think it was the Anna dress by By Hand London. And she'd made it in a um, late, uh, fabric godmother fabric they're one of the new ones the blue one which is really nice um i think she's done a vlog on it actually um and she looks and she was with um is it amelia sews but i didn't meet her um and yeah it was really nice to see her so i'll put a picture in um and then judy from the running seven so oh my god she was a lifesaver she had a battery pack and she let me charge my phone while we watched the um catwalk and um, which was really nice so i actually my battery anxiety went away because I actually got back up to full power um halfway through the day so that was really good and it lasted me all day um and then met some really lovely subscribers so hello everybody um really really liked seeing you and chatting to you and yeah thank you for coming up to me and saying hello and yeah just was a brilliant brilliant day um really enjoyed it I didn't want it to end at the end, we went to um, a local pub and had dinner and, and drinks. So I don't drink, but we had like, um, the girls had a glass of wine and, uh, and we had dinner and oh, I just didn't want to go home. And then I left at about seven to get my train for half seven, which should have took an hour and 20 minutes to get home. So unfortunately, at Angel, at Angel, the tube didn't turn up for ages. So it didn't actually, I was there at seven and it didn't actually come till 20 past seven. And it basically meant I missed my um, train. And the next train wasn't, was 15 minutes later, but it was a slow train, which takes two and a half hours. And then there was delays, so I didn't get home till I actually got in the house at half past 11. Um, but even that couldn't dampen. I was smiling from ear to ear all the way home. Just had a fabulous time. We've now got a group chat um, and we've just been chatting away all morning um, on it about our experience. So, yeah, it was just really, really nice. So I just want to say a big thank you to all the girls and everybody that I met for making me have such a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Right. 
So let's get on to the fabric haul. Oh my God, you'll be proud of me. If you've seen the picture that I've put on the thumbnail, I've got like a reasonable sane person's fabric haul. And I kept going around going, are you proud of me, everyone? I just literally haven't gone mad. And my danger zone is the last half an hour. And I, it was so tempting to just go, I need to spend some more money because I haven't spent anything. But I, I was really good and restrained. And I'm really happy with all of my purchases. And they're all a bit different for me. And guess what? There's no leopard print controversial no leopard print how amazing <laughs> so let's start off with my fabric haul so what should i start off with so first of all let's start off with my little bag of bits and bobs as i like to call them the first purchases that i made was from becky the specky seamstress and i purchased some of her bias tape so she makes her own bias tape um and she's had a baby recently um and obviously been pregnant and everything, so hasn't been uh, able to focus on the business, but is now back with a bang. And I purchased three. Actually, I think I've purchased exactly the same as Michelle. Um, so I purchased this one, which I thought was just super cute. I think it's three meters of bias tape. Um, and I can't remember how much these were. I think it four pounds, I want to say. Um, and I just think it was really cute colours. And then this one is just me and Michelle love cups of tea. Um, we don't drink coffee and we just love this. I had a teapot and little cups on it. And I actually said to Michelle, oh, this one's for us. And then she'd already got it. <laughs> so I got those two. And then I also got the remnants pack. And I don't know how much is on these. It was like a lucky dip. So I got the specs one because obviously I wear spectacles. And I lost to a bobbin chicken and then the measuring tape, which... I don't often lose to Bob and Chicken, though, to be fair. It's like one of my special powers. But anyway, I did lose to it the other day, halfway through a buttonhole. Oh, my God. So annoying. Um, so, yeah, they I got those. And, and this was on my list of things to get. So I was really proud of myself that I did that and stuck to it. Now, I didn't realise that Becky also does labels. And I've shared about, I've got a lot of labels in my stash, but not in plain colours. And I wanted more plain neutral colours so she does this one stitched with love which i like they're great for gifts and i'm thinking about selfless so april coming up that these are going to be perfect because obviously they're nice to put in people's gift to show you show how much love went into them so yeah i got that as well <clears throat> then i went to little rosy cheeks and again same thing got some plain um labels and it was creativity never goes out of fashion um so yeah could have gone mad but just purchased one pack and they were six pound fifty i think they were and she's changed the packaging as well which is really nice she's added a bit of color to it and then i stopped at barnyards again which were at the creative crasher because they are so cheap for um needles they do schmetz and three for five pounds something five pound ninety i think so i got stretch needles because i got universal last time and so i got these and um they are much cheaper than what some people were selling needles for like five pounds for one pack which i think was extortionate um so yeah they were a good buy <clears throat> and then my most well one of my most expensive purchases was from ethel and joan um, i had my eyes set on a pair of earrings from them because michelle had a pair on and i'd seen that tamlin had purchased some maybe ruan or uh, yeah i've definitely tamlin purchased some when she went to one of the shows so i was going to go with ones that match my outfit but then i thought let's get ones that are more um that i can wear more often so i went for these gold hoops i don't know if you can there we go and i just thought they were gorgeous and they were 25 pounds because they're on the gold um but i loved those um i haven't actually worn them yet but i will wear them for my next friday sews i think so yeah from ethel and joe didn't actually buy any buttons um i was going to but then there wasn't any that grabbed me and because i hadn't got any projects that i was had fresh in my mind that I, I didn't end up buying any but yeah so i was very happy with those for purchases so that's all my little haberdashery items technically i know earrings aren't haberdashery so i purchased a pattern now i purchased this from dovetail london now so Dovetail London, I um, love. It's an African wax print store. And um, Aduku, Aduku, and I hope I'm saying that right, is the owner. And she creates her own patterns as well to go with these African wax prints. Um, now, although I don't think I 
could carry off an Af African wax print. Um, they the catwalk was great, and Angela and Adele were on the catwalk, and they'd made a skirt and a dress from the pattern range in Ankara fabric, the wax print, and they looked fabulous. Now, I we were looking at the store, and um, Stacy was looking at the, just this dress called the Camille dress. And I'd walk past it because it's it, obviously with the fabric you can't always see the like the design features. But she started, she was looking at it, and I started to look at it, and it was just stunning. It has this high neck, which I do like, and then the princess seams, uh, sorry, darts that go like this and up like this. It's just a really flattering look. Big poofy sleeves, which I love, and then a long or short skirt. Right. When I stopped to look at it, I just really, really liked it. Um, and then. We were doing the once around and we were going back to things that we liked and then we went to the catwalk and on the catwalk he had made the dress without the sleeves and it looked again it still looks stunning so perfect for summer as well so i went back and when we went back round i purchased the pattern and i think stacy purchased it and i think also michelle purchased it as well so we've all got this pattern and this is it the camille dress so um it's got a little, oh, so I'm trying to zoom in, it's got a high neck and then it's got darts here that come out and then darts there and I just think it's stunning. So I purchased this and she does loads and loads of different patterns. She has a really nice coat pattern as well. They're all paper patterns at the moment so I must really like this to buy it because I'm going to have to trace this because I will need to do some fitting on the bodice. Um, so yeah, perfect. so you can get these on her website. Um, and as I said, she is a sponsor for South of Slow April and she's offering a free, um, a free pattern to the winner. So, so next, let's look at the fabrics that I purchased. Now, I purchased three, three fabrics, which I'm pretty proud of it. And two of those fabrics were meter pieces. So that's pretty good for me. So the first actual first thing that I actually purchased, some Liberty's cord from Sewbox. And this really was inspired by So Amelia. Um, she purchased a metre of cord from them and made, um, might have been the Ava skirt by Sew Over It, which is the one that I'm going to make. Um, so it's this lovely cord which has got oranges, twig teals and a very baby pink in it and it's just really nice. So this was £20 for a metre, it's obviously a bit pricey but you can definitely tell by the quality. So it probably will need to be lined because it's, it's quite a thin cord. Um, but yeah, so I have the Ava pattern. It's one of the first patterns I ever purchased. So yeah, that was my first one and I was very happy with that. And then the second piece of fabric that I purchased was one that I was looking for at the Creative Craft Show but couldn't find. You know when you imagine a piece of fabric in your head and it doesn't, you don't think it exists and then you find it and it actually exists. It was amazing. So I wanted a mesh fabric to make a mesh top to go over a black like camisole. Um, and I wanted it with black spots in it and I actually just found the exact fabric so this is it I got a meter of it and it's got stretch loads of stretch that way and a little bit of stretch that way and I got a meter so I want to make a top in this probably the Freya and yeah keep getting interrupted by Alice it's very hard to film when I've got her here so yeah, I'm gonna make a Freya in this, I think, where I can wear a little camisole underneath it. And I think this was 10 pounds for just the meter, or eight pounds, was it eight pounds? Not sure. But yeah, I really, really love that. And then the final fabric that I got is very, very, very different for me. And it's all about me embracing this fruchsia pink. Um, so I we went to Rainbow Fabrics, and Rainbow Fabrics had loads of lovely fabrics there. Um, they were giving away a bag with every purchase which was lovely so I've got this rainbow fabrics bag and I also got 10% um, off for being a newsletter subscriber so this was £10 a metre it's a viscose quite a heavyweight viscose and it's this oh my god now the green is definitely in my colour palette I love green but the pinks and the creams in it are very very different for me but I just look like a lovely lovely summer dress now I didn't know what I was going to make so my new rule is if you don't know what you're going to make you buy three meters so i bought three meters of this so it was 27 pounds and that was the beauty of being with all those other other sewing friends 
I probably would have shied away from this but they all encouraged me to go for it so I really love it and I know if Bex had been there she would have loved this because she is loving the pink and green at the moment if you've watched her Friday so you'll know so yeah this is going to be for a summer a nice summer dress um for my holiday love it okay and that was it didn't I do well I'm so proud of myself I actually look like a sane fabric buyer couple of pieces, couple of bits of haberdashery, didn't go crazy, remained calm, brilliant. So that was my haul, so I hope you enjoyed it. So um, if you, um, please check out the other vloggers so that were there, because they will all be doing vlogs I'm sure, so it was Michelle Sewing Bunny, Claire from Stitch and Sew, um, also um, Cara I'm sure will do one from Sew Sew Mad, Judy from The Running Sew and Sew, Angela Devon Thread Tales, um, so yeah, please check out their vlog as well, Anna and Anna will do one as well, because she was on the catwalk as well, and we got some footage of her on the catwalk in a stunning white dress. Okay, so that's all from me from now, and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing, bye!